Hello and welcome to AKBOT's Academy Training. My name is Tin. I'm an RP consultant at AKBOT. I'm happy to accompany you on your journey to create your first ever automation robot with AKBOT Studio. In today's session, we will create a simple bot to get real time currency conversion rate, specifically from USD to VND on Google.com. Then display the extracted information in a message box in AKBOT Studio. The workflow includes five main steps. First, we will need to open the website google.com, search for the query USD to VND conversion rate, and hit enter for the result. Then we will get the result from the website. Now, let's open AKBOT Studio and get familiar with its user interface. When you open AKBOT Studio, you will see the start tab where you can choose to either start a new workflow or select a recently opened project. Let's go ahead and create a new project. You are now in the main interface of AKBOT Studio. There are five main components to this interface. The menu panel, the designer panel, the toolbox, the project panel, and the properties panel. In AKBOT Studio, you can easily drag the activities needed from the toolbox to the designer panel and create your process. Now, let's get to work. First step is to open website google.com where you will look up the query. The first activity we will be doing is open browser. Look up the activity in the search box and it will be listed for you. Depending on what browser you are using, we will be using corresponding activity. Here, I will be using Google Chrome, so I will select open browser activity from the browser package. And make sure we go to the browser type properties, which is located on the right side of the screen and set it to Chrome. For the content of the activity, let's input the URL of the website we want to open which is https www.google.com Remember that every URL is a string value, so you will need to put it in quotations. To test out the activity, let's drag a message box activity to the designer panel. Save the workflow and click start. Great! Seems like there's no error and the website is now open. Let's remove the message box and move on to the next step in the workflow, which is to type into the search box. To do this, we will be using the type into activity in the browser package. Just like its name, the type into activity allows you to type into different fields of a web browser. The activity now allows you to pick the element, which in simple term is selecting the field where the text will go. We will first need to open the web browser so that it can be inspected by our bot. Go ahead and click on the option pick the element and a selector window will pop up. Click on Pick Target Element at the bottom of the window and a red box will appear when you move around the Chrome browser. Select the search box. And hit OK. Now, you can type what you want to search for in the text box of the type into activity. Let's type USD to VND conversion rate, including the quotations. Awesome! Now you can test run the process again and it shall type the text into the search box of the web browser for you. The next step is to hit enter to perform the search. Let's use the set hotkeys activity in the browser package. To do this, you can select the search box as the target element again 
and choose the special key to set, which is key enter. Let's test it again. Great, the process seems to run quite smoothly. Let's move on to the next step of the process, which is getting the result text from the web browser and create a variable for them. We will be using the get text activity from the browser package to do this. Just drag the activity to the designer panel, then select the element using the pick target element in the correct content of the activity. The red box appears again and you can now select the data from the website. Now, to store the text data we have just gotten from the website, we will need to create an output variable. Let's click on the Get Text Activity and inside the Properties panel, you will see the output section at the very end. Let's create a new variable using the Control K combination and type Conversion as the name of the variable. Then hit Enter. If you click on the Variable tab at the bottom of the Designer panel, you will see that a new variable has been created in either a string or text format. Now that we got the output, all we need to do is creating a message box that will display the result. Drag the message box activity in and type the message you want to display. As we want to display string and the output variable, we will concatenate using the plus operator. I will type here, at this time, 1 USD equals to plus the output variable name plus V and D. Remember, string value must include quotations. All done. Now a workflow has been created. Let's run the workflow to test it. You can see the robot is opening the website, tapping into the search box, hit enter and get the text at the location we specified before then return you with the result. Before we end this demonstration, it is a good practice to change the name of your activity for better management. All you need to do is click the tab on top of the activity and rename it. This habit will become handy when you work with more complex processes and will allow you to identify reusable parts of a workflow. Great job! You have created your first ever RPA robot to get the real-time exchange rate of USD to VND from Google.com. In this exercise, you have practiced four activities, which are open browser, type into, get text, and message box. Check out AKBot Studio Foundation to understand all technical terms and explore other activities included in AKBot Studio to automate even more advanced and complex processes. As always, happy learning!